mindfulness or meditation. The words are different, but they represent the same traditional wisdom that uh, existed for more than 6,000 years. I have always been saying that the fundamentals of the Eastern wisdom same, like the fundamentals of the science are the same. But its applied aspect becomes different. You know, it is the same electricity that runs the fan, the air conditioner, even the car now. Same thing happened to over 6,000 tradition, 6,000 years old tradition. We have more than 3,000 masters, more than 3,000 texts, and every text gives us a new and a noble way to treat the path of meditation. It is because our temperament are different. Why you and I are unique. Even when the self, the systems, the frame, the human frame are the same. It is because of the different temperament, the different practices were given to different groups of the people. Understand in a very simple and easy way. When the mind goes within, it starts living within. It awakens within. Awakens to what? The subjective reality that uh, <clears throat> one tradition says it is the real self, the Buddha says it is the nothingness or anatma, or still the third tradition says it is the highest state of the consciousness, but one thing is sure. All meditation is transcending the mind, so mind does not know, does not touch, see that state. So based on our own understanding, we label it as nothingness, as real self, as, mm, as the highest state of the consciousness. So you will find another practice that I had given to a seeker after almost 10 months. Why? The simpler the practice, the higher it is. I wonder if you will succeed in reaching to that state even just by a practice once and it has the five steps i have introduced a very subtle activity to keep the mind engaged when it starts living with it why don't you just start the practice and enjoy and write to me if you experience the change. Thank you.
Let us start another way of mindfulness. First thing to keep in the mind when we say it is effortless, it is natural, that simply means that it goes beyond cause and effect relationship. The Eastern wisdom, the traditional wisdom, says that we should discover and know the intent, even assume that peace and happiness are over essential nature and that goes beyond cause and effect relationship. That is why it is an effortless. We need not to do anything. So how to start with that? So in this journey, let us say moving mind from outside to inside. Moving body from outside to inside the home needs an effort. It's a physical movement. Physical movement cause and effect. But when we say, okay, you're looking at me, why don't you start looking at yourself? The mind is aware subconsciously. So the journey uh, of the mindfulness masters teach us that it is to discover the subjective the reality. The science is yet to go to that state of the subjective reality. But neuroscience says that the mindfulness practices helps us to fire the brain to rewire it. No doubt, it happens. What should be our ideal step, ideal step when we say moving, going, within living, within an awakening, within? Become aware of the space outside your head and the neck. So it's outside awareness, simple awareness. Become aware of or be aware, just an awareness of the space outside right arm. So the moment we have become aware of the space outside the right arm, we invoke the principles of Eastern wisdom without doing anything. And then what happens to mind wandering mind naturally stops and looks at the space and the right arm. Same thing, awareness of the space all around the left arm. We are again going a little deeper uh, practices, deeper journey. You have been doing it for a long time and
the space all around the rib case and the belly. One thing that we just look at the space. I'm looking at the space between you and you all and me. There is always a space. The moment we become aware, we're not doing anything. But that helps the mind to stop wandering. We'll understand another step that how to drop the wandering, the lazy, and the crazy mind without doing anything. Look at the right leg in the space all around. And the moment we are aware of the space and the right leg, it is done. And we are simply there. The left leg in the space all around. We can even do it with eyes open. Anytime, anywhere. But it needs a foundation with initial practices, the entire body and the space all around. The experience of the space all around the body It is instruction based on your mind and temperament. That's why we have a 6,000 years old tradition and every teacher customize these steps without deviating from the fundamentals. Let us move to the next ideal step of breath awareness with the three-pointed awareness. Three-pointed awareness of the breath. In that state of the body, You're looking at the breath that is going in and out. That is the first point. Second point, when the breath goes in, you feel the sensation. The breath comes out, you feel the sensation. Third point, we don't change the rate and the rhythm of the breath. From the Eastern wisdom, understand that we are not doing anything. Breath is going on its own, we are looking. But if you start looking at the breath, you discover that you feel the sensation. And you also discover that there is no change. So when you discover there is no change, we, as if we are in the state of doing nothing. Normally, masters say focus. The moment you focus, you start an effort. No focus. 
just an awareness. Aren't we all aware of oneself? Yes. So we don't focus. It demands an effort. When there is an effort, there is, we miss this mindfulness practice. You're looking at the breath. The breath is going in and out. You're feeling the sensation of the breath and there is no change. In that state of awareness of the body, that is, in the state of the stillness, naturally, we also experience the sensation in the body, in that state. We are looking at the breath, going in and out, first point, Feeling the sensation of the breath goes in and out, second point. No change, third point. There is a layer of our consciousness below the mind, conscious mind. So in a deeper state of relaxation and calmness, many a times, the mind falls into the unconscious sleep. It is okay. The moment you hear me and you become aware, naturally, awareness of the three points of breath returns and you are there. We will introduce a very subtle activity. And we will return again to no activity. Normally we say start counting the breath. That is an activity of the mind. The effort has to be there. So look at the breath, the moment the breath goes in, count in one, breath comes out, out one, in two, out two, just continue, 
we don't give any other idea to the mind how much just continue In that state of experience of the sensation, relaxation in the stillness in the body, we are looking at the breath going in and out, feeling the sensation, no change. And we added one very subtle activity. The breath goes in, we drop the counting. The breath goes in the moment you feel the sensation in one. Breath comes out, out one, in two. What is important here, the mind works on the mind itself. mind normally works through the senses, body, idea. So when the mind works on the mind, it need not to go anywhere. So it's a very subtle activity to keep the mind engaged. Why? to help the mind to live within. Continue counting. You may lose, forget it, it is okay. Again, look at the breath, three-pointed awareness of the breath and counting. You can start from anywhere, a total freedom.
And now stop the counting of the breath. Another way to experience to be into that state of nobody drops the crazy mind. We start living in that mindfulness. So again, the mind says what to do to be nobody. No, there is nothing to do. But just to discover. By dropping the mind, the moment the breath goes in, you feel the sensation, look inside, the vast space, as if the mind drops into the inner space. The moment the breath comes out, it merges into the outer space. When the mind merges, we become nobody. So we are, it is all about transcending the mind consciously. There are many other ways, but based on our progress, another customization, even for one breath. Look at the entire field of awareness where we experience the sensation, relaxation, and the stillness. In the same field, we are aware of the breath going in and out. Now, we see the breath goes in, sensation is there. What is after that? The mind seems to merge. There is no inhalation, there is no exhalation for a fraction of a second. And at that point, the mind merges, drops. We are nobody. So when we are nobody, we seem to transcend the cause and effect. relationship of the mind and we experience a sense of emptiness nothingness continue the journey It is a reminder the moment I speak, let this act as a reminder you're living within. In that field of awareness of the sensation, relaxation and the stillness, you are Looking at the breath, the three-pointed awareness, the reminder comes naturally. Then, we remind the breath goes in, looking, feeling the sensation, and 
there comes an awareness, the mind as if it merges in the inner space. It merges in the outer space. And we are in a state of doing nothing. Let your mind know that you are not doing anything. When your mind is aware of itself not doing anything, you are nobody. That happens in deep sleep. But that is an unconscious state. The mindfulness or any meditation is a conscious state. an intellectual a thinking idea it is a conscious experience an awareness a state of doing nothing that is effortless so when we are nobody, what to do? There is nobody to do. People miss this very important point discussed and taught by our great masters. They also guide us to chant, to recite, to help, to drop the mind, to go deeper within, and having a rich experience. <sighs> Shanti 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 Shanti
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Again, check, we are not in a hurry. I always ask people not to rub their hand when you return. To continue to be into the same state of mindfulness. So we return in a very gentle way. Bring your awareness on the right palm. Your awareness on the left palm. And if you feel you can continue, continue. Otherwise, bring both the palms and your eyes open, the eyes inside the palms, and then bring the hands down to share your experiences.